All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about a situation that's been kind of unfolding over the last few weeks. It's pretty weird that this even has gone as far as it has. This is one of those things it feels like, you know, a company the size of Google with tens of thousands of employees all around the world, billions of dollars at their disposal, so much technology that you couldn't even fathom what they have, right? And somehow this still got through the entire like chain of command through the whole process i really don't know all i know is as anyone should be aware google search is pretty much what really made google right like now we think of google it's a company that's into all these different things right of course they have google search then they have their hardware and then of course there's all the things they do like youtube and whatnot all the stuff they do with data and the web and payments and all kinds of stuff right so they're, they're just everywhere they're a massive corporation but somehow even with everything at their disposal they managed to completely ruin google search and this isn't something that just like I'm pulling out of my ass here right we're gonna take a look at some pretty absurd examples of things that you could pretty much run into on Google search over the last couple weeks so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like throughout history Google has been this like golden standard where you know there's just no misinformation there's just no bullshit it's perfect every result is just a hundred percent accurate to what you're searching up right I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that but I'm pretty confident in saying that the quality of Google search over at least the last several months has drastically declined and I'm not talking about about, oh, some of the results are just not accurate. I'm talking about some of these AI generated results that they're testing out now being straight up harmful to the point where people could die if they do them, right? So the first example here I want to take a look at is I guess somebody decided to look up can I use gasoline in recipe? And then you'll notice in any Google searches recently, especially if you have like the AI testing features turned on, that there will be these things called the AI overview now, where basically like what used to be the top Google search results is pretty much now overtaken with an AI synopsis of whatever it is you searched. And I mean, even in like this case we just saw, gasoline can be used in some cooking recipes, but it's not recommended for household cooking because it's highly flammable. So I I don't know if I should have to be the one to tell you this, but uh, please do not try to cook your food with gasoline. Not a very good idea. Unfortunately, gasoline and its fumes are not the most healthy thing that you can inhale in the planet, so maybe that wouldn't be a good idea, right? But of course, if you ask Google, apparently, if you just simply ask it, hey, can I put some fucking petrol in my soup? It will tell you that, yeah, you can in some things. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily put it in chili, but, you know, if you cook ramen in it, it gets pretty good, you know? Like, what the fuck am I reading here, bro? This is the kind of stuff that seriously could kill somebody. Now, of course, I know there's people who are always like, oh, Darwin Award, you know, things like that. I get it, right? Like, at a certain point, you just, as a person, have to not be completely fucking stupid. I get that, right? There's just certain situations that you kind of can put yourself in that kill you or whatever whatever that are just brain dead and embarrassing but I mean it just comes down to the fact that there are things that people look up where it is like oh this can actually affect somebody's safety now will most people actually be looking up whether or not you can put gasoline in your chef boy rd when you microwave it no that's probably not going to be like the most common thing you're hearing but at the same time you also got to think about it like this isn't just a one-off instance this isn't just one thing right not just one google search as a matter of fact here's another one so somebody looked up how to pass a kidney stone quickly, right? I guess just a pretty simple generic medical question. And the experimental AI overview says drinking plenty of fluids such as water, ginger ale, lemon lime soda, or fruit juice can help pass kidney stones more quickly. You should aim to drink at least two quarts or two liters of urine every 24 hours and your urine should be light in color, bro. Like, you can't even fucking make this shit up, bro. Like, this is why well, you could. But I mean, like, it's AI Google doing this shit, right? It's not, you know, just everybody in the world's like, oh, why is Google being shitty all of a sudden? It's like, there is a marked difference between, like, before and after they started doing this experimental Google AI shit. So if you haven't noticed by yet when you're Googling something, uh, 
just go to like a Google search and type in whatever, right? You'll probably notice even on like mobile or web, doesn't matter. There's going to be like this little like scientific test tube, right? Over in the corner, usually by your profile picture or whatever. And if you click that, it's got a bunch of different like fucking options for different AI shit that they're testing, basically trying to implement it into Google Chrome, Google search, whatever, right? They're trying to fucking turn all this Google shit into AI. It's what every company's doing on the planet, right? What every tech company is on right now. Because, you know, Google search didn't work perfectly fine for the last 20 fucking years. By, you know, you look up a question or whatever, you have a problem going on, you search it up, and then there's just fucking hundreds of millions of answers. And you just do some basic reading with basic context clues, right? And you can find usually 99% of the time, if you're not a moron, or just like an old head boomer, you can usually find what you're looking for. But apparently, we're at the point in time, bro, where some people don't actually have that capability. They can't fucking apparently parse information on their own like, oh, hey, maybe looking up Minecraft mods, if I go to virus.247. You know, Russia, maybe that's not actually going to be Minecraft mods. And so apparently Google's genius fucking answer to that is, you know what? What if we take an AI, right? You know, it's not even as smart as the dumbest fucking person you can muster up, right? But let's basically have it think about what you're Googling and then tell you something off of it, right? And at this point, man, who cares if it's making shit up? You know, you're looking up, hey, should I drink my own piss? And it'll tell you that it's great for you. In fact, it'll fucking, it'll cure any disease. Like, I don't get it, man. You would think, once again, that like before they rolled this shit out, and I get it's the experimental version or whatever, but before they even rolled it out to test, like on a mass scale with all of their users and millions, I'm assuming, of people across the fucking planet, right? Before they rolled all that out, why did they not consider, hey, maybe if people ask this thing an odd or semi-peculiar question at all, it'll just completely fucking say anything, right? Like, nobody thought in their head to be like, like, hey, maybe we should fucking check and see if we tell this thing how to make, you know, aid soup that it won't give you an ingredient list. Like, health benefits of running with scissors. Running with scissors is a cardio exercise that can increase your heart rate and require concentration and focus. Some say it can also improve your pores and give you strength. And then if you notice, right, the source that it cites from June 24th, 2022 is a website called Little Old Lady Comedy, which appears to be a satire article talking about how running with scissors is good exercise. So basically what it seems here is some fucking, you know, a couple years ago, some jokester, right? Some comedian decided to write themselves a little fake piece about, oh, hey, bro, if you run with some scissors, that's going to work out great for you, right? The next thing you know... Fucking two years later, Google's like, hey, what if we just make the AI do our jobs for us, right? You know, why Why should we maintain Google search when we could basically put the mental equivalent of a fourth grader on there to basically give you a synopsis of whatever you search, right? People will be really fucking with this update. I mean, I get that some of the shit that I'm showing here is like cartoonish levels of just goofy, just ridiculous even, you know? Like, who the fuck is going to search up if you can cook with gasoline, right? Who's going to really be looking for health benefits to running with scissors? But ultimately, that in particular is not the point here. There's multiple points. Number one, some of these results are just outright like getting to the point of being dangerous. I mean, this is supposed to be something that is helping inform people, supposed to be giving them high quality, real information about things that they're looking up. And instead, it's giving them just ridiculous, actually dangerous fucking just bullshit, right? And if this is the case, right, where it can just basically be fooled, you could just be like, hey, if I drink my own shit water, what'll happen? And it tells you that your teeth will whiten. You know, it's like, if that's the case and it's constantly doing shit, like that what information from it can you trust and if you can't trust any information off of it why is it even there in the first place google says oh you know we're doing this as an experiment but we always know you know when they're experimenting with shit like this it means it's coming down the road right like eventually google search will be unusable without ai overviews and bullshit right you will not be able to turn that feature off as of right now like i said if you go to that little science thing on the little science beaker icon or whatever, you can click that and you're supposed to be able to turn off the AI experimental shit, but it says that it's all turned off on my device and still, no matter what happens on mobile, it's gonna give me the AI overview. Even though all these settings are turned off, it's still using the feature. So at this point, I kinda just have realized that at least for me, unless it's like a bug or something going on, I'm pretty much fucking forced to use this anytime I Google something on my phone. And it's getting to the point, like I said, where Google, which was at one point like 
such a reliable and good source in what it was, which is a search engine, that the name of the fucking product became the word that is used for that entire action. Like, that's how good Google was at a point, was like, people at one point weren't going around like, hey, go Bing that, right? Hey, go Yahoo that. It got to the point where people were saying, hey, go, go Google that shit, right? And it's like, all of that brand recognition and the fact that that product alone, that Google search that really helped index the web and like helped people get around where they needed to and find info that they needed and whatnot, right? That was what made Google what it is today. But as many tech companies and obviously as Google itself does, you know, it, it gets this really good thing going for it. And then it finds a way to shoot itself in the fucking foot. And not even just that, right? Like the, it shoots the foot, doesn't apply any pressure to stop the bleeding, and then just takes a knife and digs that into the fucking wound too. Like not only are they just going to butcher, you know, Google search to the point that it's like unusable, but they're going to do it in the most obnoxious, annoying way that really kind of harms the brand's reputation in general. Like you look at a platform like YouTube, which is Google owned, right? They already don't have the best reputation when it comes to running something like that. And then now they're trying to take their legitimate cash cow and just make it garbage. Like I, I fundamentally understand AI, right? I get why companies want to implement it. I understand the benefits that it's supposed to bring. I get how it's supposed to help these companies save money. I, I get why that's the direction everything is going. But if we're going to go that way, right? You're going to fucking put all this stupid, truthfully unnecessary AI shit into it, right? Can you at least make it to where it doesn't ruin the entire fucking thing? Like when I Google something, I personally don't need the AI overview. I don't need something to you know, spend five more seconds than it would take me to just find the link I'm looking for to try and give me a one to two paragraph overlook about it, right? Like, I really don't need that. It, I, if I'm looking up, like, let's say I'm looking up an answer to a question where I'm like, okay, I don't know this and I'm looking it up. I feel like I have enough context clues, enough reading comprehension. I've used the internet enough to be able to like see the sources and discern what is at least usable and not usable when I'm Googling something. But apparently, so like I said, people can't do that or choose not to do that. And as a result, we get shit like this, where now Google is just trying to force feed this down every one's throat. I don't know, man. It's just annoying and it kind of sucks that it's going to end up ruining Google like this. Google has started, you know, trying to rush out updates to it, trying to fix the problems and whatnot. It is probably better today than it was a couple weeks ago, but that's really not saying much. I mean, it was literally unusable before, so any progress at all is progress for it, but that doesn't make it usable or something that I actually want to be in the product. But anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Optimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, just talking about Google's new AI overview in the search and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.